Hey traders, this is Jake from Optimus Futures and in this video I'll be giving a tutorial on the technical side of how to trade the micro e-mini S&P 500 otherwise known as the MES futures on the MT5 trading platform. So the first thing I suggest you should do is navigate to your market watch board on the left hand side of your screen and add the symbol to this list here. If you don't have the market watch on your screen, whether you accidentally deleted it or maybe it's in a different location, you could re-enable it or re-access it by going to the view tab in the top left hand corner, scrolling down and clicking on market watch. You'll see there's also a keyboard shortcut for this and it's control M. Now, once you have this open uh, for both demos and live accounts, you should have a pre-populated list of symbols that you can access here on the left hand side, as you can see. By default, the MES won't or shouldn't be there, so we're going to need to click to add. So we're going to double click on this column here or this row and just simply type in MES. And by default, it should start to pre populate the contracts that can be added. Now, currently, uh, we'll be adding the March contract, the March 2022 contract that's represented by the H here. So if we double click that, we can add it. If you want to add a future month, even further out, for example, the, the June contract, you can go ahead and add the M as well, the MESM 22 and double click it. You'll also notice that you may see symbols starting with the at symbol. If you see this, for example, as you can see right here, it's a at MES. This is what's called the continuous contract. It essentially compiles um, all of the data from the past months into one convenient contract for historical data analysis. So if you are looking for a nice view of historical data all in one chart conveniently, you can go ahead and add that at MES contract. It's actually already there pre-populated for us. But the only thing about this contract is that it's not tradable. So if you do add this to your platform and you try and trade from it, you can even see if I hover over it, it says disabled. So just keep that in mind. That version is strictly for analysis. So moving forward, how to actually trade this contract. Now, from a technical standpoint, there's a couple different methods in which you could place orders for this contract. The most simple one, of course, is just doing it from an order ticket. I personally like right clicking from these windows here on the left and all your options are available straight from a right click. So you can see I hover over the specific contract I want to trade in this scenario. It's the MES, the March contract. And here are my options. I have new order, chart window, tick chart, depth of market. Um, you can even see contract specifications. So if you're not sure about the tick size of this contract or the tick values, you can see it's a dollar twenty-five uh, tick value. You can see the margins, things like that. So, a lot right conveniently located right in this small screen here. If you need some more information on the contract, of course, it's available on our website as well. So, like I mentioned, placing orders. Now that we know the tick sizes and value of the contract and things of that nature, we can begin to place orders. Now, this is the standard order entry window on MT5. Here, it's more of a manual process where you set up your order and then place it through a buy or sell ticket. So being that we clicked on our market watch board, the contract is conveniently added for us. Now you can go ahead and open a, a normal order ticket as well. You'll see in the top left, if you can see where my mouse is hovering over, you can click new order there as well. And then you'll just need to manually specify the contract. So whatever version you prefer. Um, you can choose your type of order, whether it's a pending order or exchange execution. Exchange execution is essentially um, a market order. Um, you will see some terminology here based around Forex because this platform was originally created for Forex, uh, but futures have been added. Um, so some of the terminology you may see like volume, for example, in the futures world, that's just we consider that quantity. So some things vary there, but at the same time, the definitions are essentially seamless. So um, just keep in mind, you may see some terminology if you're coming from another futures platform, it may be a little bit different. So as you can see, again, ex exchange execution is essentially a market order. I first set up my quantity. So in this example, quantity of one, if you prefer or you trade with stops or take profits in the form of an OCO or a bracket order, this is where you can add that here. 
So in the order ticket, as you can see, you're actually typing in by price and you can see it, it, it increases by the tick increment, increment every 0.25. So I could either manually type it in or just simply click on these up or down arrows to adjust my stop loss or take profit. Um, same thing on the take profit, you click it up or down. And then when you're ready to place your order, you can click buy or sell. If you want to, you could add a comment. And then of course, these are time in force settings or order durations as some platforms may call. Uh, we have filler kill, immediate or cancel or return. Then of course, once you're ready to place your order, you simply click buy or sell. Um, and it, since we're doing a market order here, it goes directly in at the best available market price. Um, I also want to show the pending order screen as well. So this is for you traders that will place a pending order such as a buy limit, sell limit, or buy stop, sell stop um, from your entry rather than going in at the market price. So the process remains almost identical, except this time you're also going to specify the price for your order to go in at since it's not market. Um, you essentially determine the price yourself by typing that in. So again, you choose buy or sell side this time initially. So we choose our order type here. Type in the volume or otherwise known as a quantity, like I mentioned before. And then here we go. This is where we determine the price ourselves. So, you know, you can go ahead and look at the chart. You can look at a dome. You can look at the chart on here to determine your price. You simply type it in. And as we did before, you adjust your stop loss or take profit. Unlike a market order, since market orders are typically executed as soon as possible with the pending orders such as buy limits or sell stops we also have the expiration date so here you can see good till cancel so unless if this order isn't filled it's not going to cancel out unless you specify to or if you do today when the market closes and if this order still hasn't been hit yet uh, the order will automatically cancel out at the end of the day so you're not left with a working order so that's an order entry ticket. I'm not going to place orders just yet. I want to go through the other methods and then we can place a few orders after the fact. So going back again to the market watch board on my left hand side, which is where it is by default. Like I mentioned before, I prefer this because it's all conveniently located in one window. Now, the second option of placing orders, and I'm sure for analysis, you're going to want this anyway, but you have a chart window. Now from your chart, you have a couple different options of placing orders. The most apparent one is up front. You can see um, they give you a convenient little order entry window. They call it a trade panel. You can actually disable that or enable it on the top left of your chart here where my mouse is hovering over. Or you can even enable the depth of market here as well, which I'll get into in a second, but let's focus on the chart for now. So here, it, it's pretty straightforward. You adjust your quantity right here in the middle, and then you have your buy and sell sides. Um, you could either do it at the market, or you'll see these two options here, essentially at the bid and the ask. Um, bid is on the right hand, ask is on the left hand. So you can essentially click one of these buttons, and once you have your quantity in here, you'll see it sets up your order ticket for you, and then you can place your buy or sell order as needed. And there we go. Uh, we just executed um, at the market essentially and you can see now on our chart uh, we have our fill now from here there's a couple more options as well um, from placing orders from the chart if you want to you could also right click your chart and then place your orders directly through that so depending on the type of order or the side of the market excuse me you right click on you'll see it automatically adjusts the proper order type for you so buy limit below the market um, sell limit above the market and then if the option the quick option with the right click is not there you could also hover over this trading tab and it gives you the other order types available at that side of the market so for example sell limits buy stops um, on the current side of the market i'm hovering over which is above the market price um, you could even do take profit here you can set up an order ticket from here or you can click alerts so these are a few other options of placing orders and then finally i'm going to show you the depth of the market so again What's nice about the chart is you could also right click and access all the available order entry options from there as well, or you can right click on this market watch list. Our next option, like I mentioned, is depth of market. This is a ladder, a matrix. It's a lot of different terminologies. Um, 
I'm going to call it the, the ladder or the depth of market in this video. And you can see it's fairly consistent with our other options that we've had so far. It's just in a different format. Um, this is typically used for faster order entry. And by default, you'll notice when I go ahead and click on something, this order confirmation window will pop up. Now, the first time you do this and you didn't see it because I've already done it, there's actually an option for one click trading. So if you want to add one click trading to your platform, which essentially means it bypasses this order confirmation window, allowing you for potentially faster order entry, you can go ahead and go to tools at the top of your platform and then scroll down to options, otherwise known as control O. And then in options, you want to click on the trade tab and you'll see one click trading. Now I do suggest you read this disclaimer here. Um, so you fully understand what is going on here. I'll let, leave that up to you. It's you know a little bit lengthy, but please do read it before you accept these terms and conditions. Um, you know, with one click trading off, it is a lot easier to accidentally make mistakes or misclick. So that is why it's here. It is there for precautionary reasons, and it is why you do need to accept this agreement before you continue. But again, without this on, it is a lot faster, especially for the dome in particular, to enter in your orders faster. So just to show you an example, now that one click trading is turned on, all we need to do is simply navigate to the price level we want to place our order at and place the order. So before we do that, we do have our volume, aka our quantity at the bottom. So first you want to specify that. And then once you do, you also notice there's SL, which stands for stop loss and TP, which stands for take profit. So here, if you want, you could add a bracket order, um, bracket OCO, right through this entry order here. And you'll see this is in increments of 0.25, which is essentially ticks. So our, it's actually in, in whole numbers, but this does stand for ticks. So every 25 is one tick, um, 50 is two ticks, 75, three, and then four or 100 is a whole point. So again, this is increments of 25. You can adjust this as needed. So if you do it 200, that's two points away, essentially. So let's say we want to go in with a buy limit order at a price below the market. We have a two point stop loss and a two point take profit. And then all we need to do is click the arrow. Uh, the right arrow is a buy and the left click or the left arrow is a sell. It's also represented by red is sell and blue is buy. And all we do is click on our price level and you can see it immediately goes in no order confirmation window it goes right in immediately um and you can see represented by buy limit too now because i did have that take profit and stop loss once this price level is hit and my order is filled um we will see those stop loss and take profit orders go in as well so that's order execution through this side of um the dome now, what is nice as well is your dome does have a tick chart right on the left-hand side. Not only does it have a uh, tick chart, but it does have a heat map per se. So you can see high areas of liquidity, buy and sell liquidity represented by blue and red color schemes. Um, another nice thing is if you have an active chart, you could link your dome to your chart. So if you switch a symbol on it or change your product, it'll automatically switch on your dome as well. Um, and then two, there's time and sales. So if you want to see your time and sales, just another view at the market and you know the orders resting out there, um, you could access it through your dome, which is quite nice. And then you can swap back and forth to your tick chart as needed. And then moving on again, um, I really do recommend you know a right click on the market watch list just to see everything going on here. Really, the only other things that we haven't covered are fundamental data. So you can get some news um, right through this platform if you want to, and it'll take you to an external link. Um, just because we're focusing on the platform itself right now, I'm not going to get into that. And then pop up prices. This is essentially just your market watch here um, that pops out into an external window. So if you have multiple monitors or want to view the market from other screens, um, you can do so and drag this where you need to. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to access the MES um, on this platform and the different methods of order placement. Again, you can go quite deep into this and there's quite a few options available. Um, but at the same time, MT5 makes it very easy 
inconvenient to access this from all one location. Um, again, you could place your orders in whatever manner you see necessary. And on top of that, you can open up these features however you see necessary. Um, you can access them from the main toolbar at the top, or like I recommended right from the start, just going ahead and right clicking. Once you add it, the symbol in your contract list here, your market watch board, and then just accessing your different features from there. It makes it very easy and convenient. Now, the one other thing that I would like to recommend for MT5 trading the MES is, of course, managing or monitoring your orders. To monitor any working orders or positions in the market, you can navigate to the bottom of your screen. Under the toolbox here, you're going to see a trade tab. And this is where you can essentially manage everything. Um, and you can see right here, these are my current working orders. I've already placed a quantity of one and then a quantity of two in this video, um, both on the buy side. So you can see I have a total of um, three MES right now uh, in the market. And you can see um, I have a stop loss and a take profit attached to it. And then you can see here too as well for your day, the balance, um, total equity in the account, the margin being used on the account, and then essentially your free margin that you have available towards other working orders and other positions. So again, everything you need to manage in regards to working orders or like I have here right now, positions can be managed from this trade tab. And then two, of course, if you wanna check your history on the account, um, you can do so in the history tab and see everything you've done on the day. Um, and then you can expand and contract these sections here um, by using these plus or minus buttons to get a little bit more detail and see everything you've done on the account. So we hope you find this helpful. Um, if you want to try a demo of MT5 for futures trading, it is, I, or I will put a link to the demo down in the description below. It's very easy to sign up for. Just go ahead and download it. Um, and then you'll be prompted to sign up immediately. You just have to enter in an email and a phone number and we'll email you and text you the codes um, in order for you to sign up. Um, if you do need help with the initial download or setup, you can of course come to our community forum reach out to us at support at optimistfutures.com give us a call or take a look at our other youtube videos we have a full playlist for mt5 uh, we've already gone over how to download it and set it up from there so i would suggest looking at those resources as well if you have any other questions let us know and um, have a great day thanks